Breaking the Wall of Inclusive Employment. Konstantina Zöhrer, 180 Moires, Athens. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's an honor to be here. Actually, it's 180 meters and not Moires, which means degrees. And we're trying to turn the employment um, around. So, as you see, I'm coming from Greece, which is known for its issues with employment and unemployment, but those issues are on the agenda of public policies and reforms in many countries, if not in all countries. So what we see is that the labor participation rate, according to the ILO, is 65%. Sounds quite optimistic, but we have around 2 million unemployed people. We have uh, vulnerable employment being quite high at 48%. Vulnerable employment is usually freelancers. And we have women participation rate of just 50%. So um, what we're trying to, to do is to create a public policy reform, a social policy reform that is uh, turning around not only employment, but actually matching eco economic changes with labor market changes. And by the way, informal economy, informal labor is 20 to 30 percent uh, globally. It's a mid-rate. So we have also countries that had 50 percent black market. Um, let's take a specific example. Let's take Maria. Maria is 53 old, uh, years old. She is a housewife. Um, her husband was a long-term freelancer, not making enough income anymore to sustain his family. They have two children, in university and in high school. So, Maria has never been to work, never been employed. And she wants to make an income for her family in order to get back on track. So, she sees that she has good time management skills and people caring skills. So, what can we do in order to employ people like Maria, people that have never been employed or want to get re-employed. So we create a capacity building scheme for those people that reinforce or strengthen the skills that they already have and focusing them on the social uh, organizations, on the social market, so that they can make use of them, soft skills. Then we take the social organizations and match them with those people and trying to see the sustainability factor and the development factor of those organizations. So what's in for the market? Um, as you know, um, unemployment has a high effect on costs. So what we're trying to do is creating also um, a cost-effective approach and creating a supporting network where we match those people with organizations <coughs> and in the second stage getting uh, the traditional businesses in um, transforming social responsibility programs into social investment funds. 